news as St. Teresa's Catholic High School bans the selling of chicken fingers and fries in their cafeteria. I'm Aislinn Wood and we are live in the Thunder News studio with all the details. The chicken finger and fry ban was announced by school administration earlier today and students were quick to react, taking their protest of the ban all the way to Queen's Park in Toronto. Let's have a look. Hundreds if not thousands of students, both chicken finger fans and french fry fanatic students marched on Queen's Park today to voice their displeasure at the recent ban. Chants of we want chicken fingers, not the middle finger, and more fries, less lies could be heard as the students made their way up to the stairs of the provincial capital for a peaceful rally. We want justice. How dare those in power take away our right to chicken fingers and fries. More fries, less lies. Here at Thunder News, we strive to provide our viewers with all sides of the story. Here's a look at the impact the ban has had on local farmers. Today at a local Midland farm, Hundreds of chickens were given a new lease on life. After the announced ban on the selling of chicken fingers and fries, local farmers released the birds into the wild. With the termination of the St. Teresa's Cafeteria chicken contract, there was no longer a market for these chickens, so they were set free. So there you have it. I'm Aislinn Wood in the Thunder Newsroom. Thanks for watching and have a good night.